Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below so you can start at the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade and then we're going to Python. Alright, so we were in this slithering and string section and specifically we were on number 14 here, convert tabs. So we just have to fill in the code and the ellipsis here. Uh, so you found an awesome customizable Python IDE that has almost everything you'd like to see in your working environment. However, after a couple of days of your coding, you discover that there is one important feature that this IDE lacks. It cannot convert tabs to spaces. Luckily, the IDE is easily customizable, so you decide to write a plugin that would convert all tabs in its code into the given number of white space characters. <coughs> Excuse me. Implement a function that given a piece of code and a positive integer x will turn each tabulation character in code into x white spaces. So here's the example. So this here, this slash t is a tab character. I'll return false and x equals 4, so they want the tab converted to 4 uh, space characters. The out should, output should be uh, 4 spaces and then return false. Alright, so there's a handy function for this, it's the replace function. So replace, you give it a string you want to replace. In this case, we want to replace the tab character slash t um, and then we want to replace that with, so that's the second argument, uh, we want spaces and then times x. So when you take a string times any uh, integer, it's going to take that string and uh, repeat it that many times. So let's just open some Python code. So let's do, uh, let's do the letter L and then times 5. And what you'll get is five L's. If I do uh, pizza, I've got quotations around that, pizza times five, then it repeats pizza five times. So that's what that does. Um, I think that's all we need, so let's try and run that. And that seems to be correct. So very simple, once you know the replace function, you just put in uh, the character you want to replace, character or char num uh, several characters, and then what you want to replace that with. Alright, hope you guys were able to follow along. Thank you very much, and I hope you join me for future videos.